let us see the architecture of uh, overview of data warehouse of course we are not going to dig into more details about this a broad picture of uh, data warehouse okay first of all uh, take any company like uh, johnson and johnson for example okay they have multiple departments like uh, r d sales uh, and public relations okay uh, they have multiple departments like this for their individual departmental needs they are using heterogeneous databases so for example for r d they are using oracle for sales they are using ms sql server for public relations they are using mysql like they said they are using heterogeneous uh, databases throughout their organization they are not using the single database for total their uh, total their uh, company needs why like this why they are using heterogeneous that depends on their uh, requirements and uh, price i mean licensing issues okay uh, for r d by spending crores of dollars the result is there in this r d department uh, very sensitive data it is not supposed to be leaked if it leaked then the competitors also produce uh, a similar type of uh, products by changing small small things so it is not supposed to be leak, uh, leaked not only that they are maintaining not only successful r and they are maintaining failed r and also in their uh, database but because these are learned lessons so the database uh, should provide uh, bulk data support so overall their requirement is uh, for r and is uh, uh, bulk data and uh, uh, high security when compared to other products, Oracle can give you that type of an environment in a better manner. That is why they are using Oracle even though this is costly. That is uh, they need. Okay, for sales, the data volume is something less and uh, what is it? The data, uh, security is also something less. Okay, so they are using a MS SQL Server here. This is enough for their requirements here. So much cheaper than Oracle. Okay, for public relations. Uh, here what this department contains this department contains just uh, just like uh, customer addresses distributor addresses kind of uh, genetic information uh, not that much security needed here that to the data volume is also uh, less so here using they are using mysql here why because mysql this is open source uh, without paying any money anyone can use uh, mysql for their needs okay mysql open source without paying uh, any money anyone can use this okay uh, see for public relations if they want to use oracle yeah definitely they can use no one restrict them but not that much requirement is there then why unnecessarily pay money for uh, oracle corporation like that depending on the requirements and the licensing issues so they are using heterogeneous databases like this okay these individual databases these individual databases these are called as uh, operational data sources okay all of them together all of them together called as operational source system the total thing is a source for the data warehouse okay all of them together called as a source system the total thing is a source for the data warehouse now uh, extract the data extract uh, the data from the source system and uh, place that in a temporary database uh, called a sta staging database this is in my staging database okay place in the staging database and apply transformations on top of the data transformations what is a transformation uh, based on the product what we are using for uh, uh, the transformations we have different different types of transformations are there the count is different from product to product okay transformations like uh, cleansing tuning scrubbing lookup filter aggregator like the different different uh, transform transformations are there i'll give you a small and uh, rough example for a transformation okay see for example in this bank account account number 101 on a particular day say for example january 1st 2015 his opening balance is this much and then uh, multiple transactions are there in this bank account on the same day multiple transactions okay this is the information what i have uh, in our uh, source system now bring the data into staging and uh, apply transformation see for example as a bank manager for my analysis need for my analysis i want to maintain total deposits and uh, total withdrawals only i did not want to maintain all these records in my data warehouse not required for my analysis i want to have this information okay to get this total deposits and total withdrawals here i need to perform some calculations like uh, summation of all deposits and uh, summation of uh, all withdrawals right this type of things are called as uh, transformations this is very basic example for transformation of course okay orally the thing is transformation means getting the required information which is useful for analysis from the existing information this is a transformation
okay now applying uh, after applying transformations load the data into data warehouse I assume this is uh, this is our data warehouse load the data into data warehouse okay how we are maintaining the records here january 1st account number 101 total deposits how much total with the how much that's it don't update it or don't delete it for january 2nd insert one more record january 3rd insert one more record fourth one more record like that keep on insert new records for each uh, day okay like this we are maintaining history in this uh, data warehouse okay this process extraction transformations and the load this process is called as a ETL process okay by using the ETL tools we are uh, loading the data from source to target target means data warehouse okay for ETL we have different different tools are uh, available in the market informatica data stage data manager of course many other tools also there by using these tools we are uh, populating or loading the data into data warehouse okay now uh, assume I am maintaining 10 years of history in my database data warehouse what is the purpose of the data warehouse as we are discussing uh, analysis is uh, the main need for the data warehouse okay one day a sales manager asked me like uh, to do some analysis on his uh, sales staff uh, then if I say bus the tables are already loaded into data warehouse uh, history also the data is also loaded into data warehouse okay everything is available there I am granting you access on uh, the tables so write your queries and bring the information whatever you want if I say like that then what happens that will be my last day in the company well, because uh, he, he's a sales manager he don't know uh, how to write SQL how to fetch the information from the database so useless the data loaded into data warehouse can I say that is as useless well, because uh, not usable by user not usable by user then obviously useless right okay anyhow instead of uh, doing like that if I prepare some sort of uh, chart some pure some ta tabular manner if I display the information uh, then uh, say for example uh, these are the top five revenue generated employees which are working very good in Asia Pacific region these are the least 10 products which are not that much moving uh, in uh, in Europe if I prepare some sort of reports like that and if I present that information to the users by seeing that information it, the, by seeing the charts or trends or uh, pivots by seeing the reports itself they can understand what is uh, going there in their business and uh, they can take actions accordingly right for that we have one more area that is a uh, uh, reporting area for reporting also we have at least a dozen of tools are available like uh, Cognos BA, Business Objects, uh, ClickView, Pentaho, SSRX like that at least a dozen of tools are there among these dozen of tools uh, this Cognos BA this is an IBM product and uh, among these dozen of tools uh, this Cognos BA this is an IBM product and uh, a widely used product in the market for uh, reporting in the BA area Cognos BA I can say at least it is having 30-40% uh, of the market share so far so far IBM sold uh, 23,000 licenses on this uh, Cognos BA that much widely used tool this is and uh, we are going to learn this Cognos BA 